What's up everybody, Fraser McConnell here, Jamaican professional race car driver. We're at Edge 105, about to go on the morning show with Ron, so tune in, check it out. <laughs> Welcome, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, morning. How do you Good man. Pleasure. Fraser, are you so good, man? Yeah, it's a more so race than dear Fraser, right? And I saw the man I lead you, you know? Yeah. And you go over this thing and jump, and you just jump. <laughs> oh, you do that, man. <laughs> oh, what if I jump with one hand, man? The 9 of the uh, no, I have a brother over on September 11, but uh, he can't drive, but trust me, Fraser, he's nowhere near you. But man, how are you so good, Fraser? Ah, uh, boy, well, I have to just <laughs> put it down to a lot of training, a lot of effort. Um, you know, the desire to do well, the desire to win, um, yeah, that that will push you through a lot more um, hardships and, and difficult times during your your sport yeah um once you have the passion you can, you can get through you know being able to call myself professional for for the last two years now whoa i've been racing international for this will be my fifth year so how did you get into racing international because you're from jamaica like me we come from jamaica how you reach so far fraser till you had a beat up all the foreigners um you know i guess every year you just you just put yourself up to a bigger challenge, a more difficult challenge, and it started with dirt bike actually. Oh, um, oh, dirt bike. And then you, you know, start jump. Them jump started getting too big. At this time, it was very amateur, you know, just a hobby. Um, 13, 14 years old, and mommy and daddy said, "No, oh, no, this little boy can jump." You know, if we're going to continue, it have to be four wheels. Wow, which is where we went on to drive go karts at Palisados. But you can't jump in any go kart. Eh? No, if you jump in the go kart, you're not going to jump in Bogwalk. Bogwalk, right, and. It used to be nine of us with cousins and other people that live in Bagwalk going mm -hmm. to town. Mm -hmm. We leave town 5.30 every morning. Oh, you leave Bagwalk 5.30? From 7 o'clock strike. Mm -hmm. We don't reach school there. 7 o'clock strike is Ron Mouchette coming on in the morning. What, so the so you know me, Fraser? That's cool, no, man. Yeah, no, I right. never know that, man. Oh, may I try to take a little five in the car before we reach school. Your you parents know? have on the radio? Radio books. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yo, run, shut up, man. Jan, no. <laughs> you know, so me keep you up, you can't drive so no, man. Jan, Fraser McConnell. Speed. If you're going less than the minimum speed, like I said, the jumps are, are a solid face. So, yeah. there's nothing in between the takeoff and the landing. So, if you're going short, no, you're it's, a bad, it. you're it's a bad day. Many people crash on, on, on these courses, right? Um, I mean, more people err on the side of caution with the jump, meaning that they'll go a lot faster than the recommended speed. Mm hmm. There is danger in that as well, because if you go too far, you miss the landing and you you land on the flat. So there's people have actually had injuries by jumping too long, flat. too long, yeah. Yeah, uh, Fraser of You if know, you take a bit, Max, are you, are you like a speedy <laughs> driver or are you more like a rally driver? Because what Max Verstappen and, you know, all them people there do. You know, the last couple of years I've been um, pursuing this career, you have to decide very early on out what genre you want to pursue yeah so the circuit the pinnacle of circuit racing is formula one yeah and the pinnacle of off-road racing many would say is wrc but you know in in our eyes my, my management size as well um rally cross has such a huge potential to become the next big thing rally cross and you know so it's like formula one and rally cross you know you, you know the ufc Yes, yes. So Dana, Ultimate Fighter. Dana White has bought Nitro Cross two years ago. Oh. They're putting a lot of effort, a lot of money behind making this a big thing. So, you know, he says he sees the same qualities in Nitro that That's he saw one. that he saw in UFC when he bought UFC. Oh. He bought he bought UFC for one million dollars. I know it's like a billion dollar a thing. Bit multi billion. He bought Nitro Cross for three hundred million. And it's now a billion, and it's heading and, on to multi-billion. It's heading there. So, I mean, yeah. we had a race in Vegas. We're having a race in Miami in January. Looking to have a lot of Jamaican come out there and uh, support. You know, fill up the grandstands, cause have a, you know, make the whole most most amount of noise. Um, but yeah, it's, it's we're definitely on the right track. Here's a question. Yeah, she has that. She's had that on her car for a very long time now. Yeah. I used to race Dover. The last time I raced Dover was 2016, and we both started around 20. 14, 2015, and from then days, she had take passport. She's her father put it on it. <laughs> so the first thing I asked her when she came to the show, I said, "Sarah, do you know Fraser McConnell?" She said, "Yeah." I said, "What you drive?" Um, I have a pickup. Uh, I drive a I drive a pickup. <laughs> um, but when I when I want to, uh, you know, cruise around on the weekend, I also have a, a Subaru WRX. WRX. Yeah. No, no, one the fast. The Black Spider. I don't know. If... Yeah, yeah, I know the Black Spider. Yeah. I know, <laughs> know the Black Spider. What kind of pickup? What kind of pickup though? It's a Tacoma. 
So hold on. So when you drive it, you don't feel that mash up patrol. Yeah. Pat, patrol patrol get afraid when them when they see, when that. see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. So you any taxi man on the road? I, I wanna tell you I put on a truck horn. My pickup have a truck horn. So you know, when so yeah. when them when them try to cut cut me off, they they, they think twice when they hear the horn. When they hear it, they and have, have to look. So you never drive it and see all the little the little car like all the pro box with a big truck horn. Yeah all man. It, all the time. Them some it depends on my mood. If I'm having a good day and they try to cut me off as a you know. Yeah. Go on. If you're having a bad day, if they're having a bad day, they cannot cut in front of it. <laughs> no matter how hard they try. <laughs> Alright, Fraser more coming up after this. Come on to support me. So big them up for you. Know, the Jamaica them. Tourist Board, visit Jamaica. Oh you know? Tourist Board. Hey Tourist Board now gonna make you get to NB. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I've I've been to places where People have never even met a Jamaican, and I'm the first interaction with a Jamaican, with a Jamaican for so and you're many so people. Ja you know me like about you. You're so on Jamaican. You don't even try to think. You know, so I mean, I mean, yeah, you, you, no, you could have talked different. You could have said, Ron, I love the races over there, man, and I'm doing so well. <laughs> so you know, so, ahead, so, so big up JTB, of course. You know, JTB. just bet. You know, just bet. Just bet is part of it as well. You know, there yeah. there is. Um, there is betting options if you want to bet on the race. No, me I bet on you from now on. From now on, just bet. You got a new customer. See me and sign me up, Mickey. True shake, of course, you know. Yeah. Jamaica's number that. one nutrition shake. Yes. Big up Lauren. Big up Lauren. Rainforest. Yeah. You know, coming on with the with the fruits and the smoothie. They have everything. <laughs> they, have, they have everything, literally. Yeah. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a smoothie guy. Yeah. Love my frozen fruits in the morning. And, of course, proven. Proven, proven. well. Yeah, proven well. Proven well.